Today, I'm going to take an in-depth look at our household budget, and I'm going to go over our top expenses in each category. So I'm gonna try and not make it too numbers heavy, but you know me, I love me a good household budget. And there's a little more that I like talking about than our household budget. It kinda makes Mauricio a little bit crazy. Or cray cray, as Melina would say it. I don't understand children at all. Hey guys, so today I am collabing with Mark Gowdy to talk about our top expenses every month and there are a ton of awesome collaborators participating with us. So they are all linked down in my description box. If you were looking to check out some new channels or maybe be reminded of some old ones, go ahead and click on those for sure. Before I get started, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Our household budget is weird. We routinely put 40 to 60% of our income to debt every month and we live with my parents. So our expenses are odd. So knowing that, let's go ahead and jump into our top household budget expenses every month. So in our housing category, we only have actually one budgeted item and that is our storage unit. And because I mentioned the term storage unit, I'm going to have to point you in the direction of the video up in the eye in the sky because people will ask and it's just easier if you watch that video because I'm not hoarding stuff in my storage unit and I'm not selling it. Just saying. So our storage unit costs us $270 a month, which is super expensive, but it's also a storage unit holding five bedrooms worth of stuff. Then in our utilities category, our biggest expense is our cell phones at $210 a month. In our food category, well, food is the most expensive because, well, that's the only thing there is in that category. So in our transportation category, normally our gas is our most expensive. I mean, we have a car payment, which we're paying off quickly. That's 465 a month, but that's in our debts category. But if you wanna include it, that would technically be our largest payment. Normally our most expensive item in transportation is actually gas, which we put at about $100 a month or 200 if we're driving two cars and not carpooling. But this month, our most expensive was personal property tax at 371.16. But that only happens once a year. In our insurance and tax category, our most expensive is, well, insurance. We have our car insurance and our renter's insurance bundled together through USAA, and that is $183 every month. And that's pretty awesome considering what they're covering. And in our health category, well, that fluctuates every month because, you know, some months we go to the doctor, some months we don't, some months we need medication refills, some months we don't. Uh, some months Melina needs to go to the specialist, some months she doesn't. And so it really is 100% dependent on the month. This particular month, it was Melina's specialist visits, which are not covered by our insurance plan directly. They don't bill insurance, so I have to fill out the paperwork. We pay out of pocket. I fill out the paperwork, send it to the insurance, and they reimburse us. So relatively speaking, that's pretty much free, but it looks like a big expense. And in our savings category, we have our largest expense is us saving for a trip to Columbia to go visit my in-laws. So we try and go and visit them a minimum of every year, but while we've been paying off debt, it's been closer to every two years. And we did go about two years ago and we want to go back. So we are saving a thousand dollars a month for five or six months, depending. And so that will cover every single possible expense we could have. Cause you know us, we like to pad the budget in case there are unexpected overages because there are always unexpected overages. So we're hoping to be able to come back with a little bit of money, but if we don't, we don't. That's why we put it in the budget. So in our lifestyle category, the category that irritates me because 
some of the things in this category I don't consider lifestyle choices, I consider necessities. So as you can see in our lifestyle category, we have multiple categories that fall under our lifestyle category. And Melina is by far the most expensive of all of those. I don't think Melina is a lifestyle choice. <laughs> so of all the lifestyle choices that we have, Melina's before and after care at $608 a month is by far the most expensive. The last category, which I haven't talked about, is our debt category. And our debt category is multiple debts. And I think our minimum's less than $2,000 for all of them. But collectively, we try and put between six and $8,000 a month towards those debts because we are trying to kill it and get out of debt. If you are new to my channel, I really hope you stick around. We talk personal finance and household budgets constantly on this channel. And so I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.